Magical identities are always a mystery. Well, not for Susie. She plans these events. You think she already knows what every camper's magical identity is? Betsy's been teaching me magic in secret. You're ready to take your level ones. Once you pass, you'll get your wand. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh, so Hedgehog, and they're that's like so great. Lights. Did I just see you doing magic? Is that a wand? Where did you get a wand? Susie, it was I who told Betsy to train Hedgehog. Hedgehog will continue to learn magic. Okay. Right. But she has to be taught by you, Susie. Patience is key to being a good witch. When do you ever have to be patient? You just magic your way out of everything. Duh, because I can. That's the difference between you and me. I actually have skill. I have skill! Hedgehog, I want you to know that I think you're an amazing talent. In fact, you're better than I was at your age. So if you keep working hard, I think you're going to be a great witch. And I really mean that. See these goggles? They're therapy goggles. Give them a whirl. What the? What is it? It's everywhere. Oh! <laughs> sure. What am I? Am I radioactive? Is it contagious? You're a glow worm. A worm? And yes, your glow is contagious. That's what glowworms do in the magical world. They bring magic where there isn't any. Glowworms are pretty cool. It's in you. You are magic. Thanks, Shark. <laughs> the vampires, they take cinema very seriously. Max! You work here? Part-time. I'm just a bat, not a full vampire. Oh, great. Can you take my return for me? Sorry. I'm not cleared to do returns. I just restock. I do get to do a staff pick, though. Oh, I thought your parents were renewing their vows. They are, but I told them I have to give my boyfriend something. What? This. Awesome. Okay, everyone. That was Ski Bat. Selected by Max to celebrate him discovering that he's a vampire. Yeah! Nice yes! job, Max. Does everyone get something like this when they find out? Depends on what kind of magical creature you are. Shark told me during a one-on-one -on -one therapy session. Oh. Uh, I want to know my magical identity. Please, Susie! I've always been a natural at playing piano, reading very long books, and all kinds of other gentle pursuits. But something always felt missing. A meaning behind why I'm always drawn to this stuff. Bravo! That song is a monster classic. It's the first song every monster learns, and you played it perfectly. <gasps> I think I just realized something. Oh, baby, here we go. This piano is perfectly tuned. You're wasting your time. Ring, 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 ring. Well, I took the long route home, and I ended up at the monster's duplex. I had dinner with them. I'm here now. Tell Susie we don't say hi. And you got something to tell me? Hmm. Yeah, I'm cool with not finding out what kind of magical creature I am yet. I'm just gonna hang out with the monsters. Wait it out. Having questions is the fuel in life that keeps us moving. It is my great privilege to tell you, Lucy, that we are making you an honorary Yeti. Look around. This party is for you. But I thought you had to be a Yeti to be a member of the community. That's you, honey. You're part Yeti. That's why your hair grows so fast. And why your pictures always turn out blurry. And this is your crown. It symbolizes the bond all Yetis have with each other. Each Yeti has their own song. By the end of the holiday, you'll find out your Yeti family. I'm a woodwind. Me as well. And me. Me too. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong family. Ahem. Bop, bop, bop. 
Susie, can I read you a poem I wrote for you? <clears throat> and then she'll say, maybe she'll say, Pepper, I also wrote you a poem. Thank you so much for having the courage to read yours first so that I would be able to share mine with you. Wait a minute. Hmm. This way? This'll take you where you need to go. How high do these stairs go? Uh, we haven't been on the stairs for a while now. Huh? Oh my goodness gracious! Am I floating? Yahoo! <laughs> Woohoo! That cloud looks a lot like Pepper. I'm flying! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Susie, guess what? Oh wait, bup, bup, bup. Yes? I'm a cloud. I know, Pep. What's going on? Hedgehog, are you okay? Whoa, your hands look like werewolf hands. Your head looks like a werewolf head. Ah, too loud! Your ears look like werewolf ears. I think I'm putting these clues together. Hedgehog, you're a werewolf! Being a werewolf increases your senses tenfold, letting you perceive lights and colors that you couldn't before. Oh. It's like I have night vision. Your werewolf senses will give you a newfound strength, agility, and sick dunking skills. Oh, 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 oh. You can use your werewolf howl to talk to animals you have never met otherwise. I know this is all real overwhelming at first, but being a werewolf's all about learning to accept the wild part of yourself. I never thought of it like that. Man, do I hate werewolves. We get it, you're emotionally stunted, so you gotta turn into beasts once a month in order to express your real feelings. Arr, arr, arr. Am I right, Betsy? Am I right? I'm the full me! You guys are a burden on society. I could rag on you all night. I hear you talking trash, Susie. Pacifer? Sorry, I gotta be honest. Your scene stinks. Does this stink? Jumping as high as the moon! Ow! Stop trying to get me to like werewolves. I like what I like and I hate what I hate. Do you hate tree hopping? Meh. Hi again. How about howling? Does that stink too? Oh! Right? Mm, that was cool, I guess. All right, now you get it. I can show you the wolf dance. Mark, mark, mark your spot. Everybody's marking their spot. Mark, <gasps> mark, mark your spot. Everybody's okay, marking their on, spot. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need a tiny little break. Yeah, a TLB, just you and me. A TLB. Wait, what did you just do? Oh no, that's mine and Betsy's thing. Oops. Goodbye, friends. Going down now. Wish I could see the rest, but I have no control over my life. Oh no. Betsy? You're a werewolf? It was so cool seeing you like that. I thought you were just 24 7 prim and proper, even in your dreams. My dreams are a carnival of saliva and chaos. You really only know one side of me, Susie. This is my other side. I could like both sides of you, and I do. I am ready to learn my magical identity today. If you think you're ready, just go to the fjords. You'll find everything you need right there in the fjords. Just drop me wherever. Okay, bye. Ah! You must be our new giant. <gasps> giant? Oh my gosh, yes, I knew it. I'm tall, I'm sporty, I'm captain of my softball team. And I bet you got a couple fists if you put in the effort. <laughs> Beautiful knuckles, we're gonna need those. Use them to punch a little cloud, control a little weather, benefit nature in a generalized way. Put me in, coach. All right, slugger. Your cloud punching post? Let me at him. 
is at the top of a little climb I like to call Rude Bird. We're gonna climb it right now. <sighs> you good, Slugger? Cliff climbing, cloud punching, it's just not my thing. I know something that'll be both our things. Nothing like a good old cup of Twilight Cocoa. <sighs> oh, hot cocoa cloud alert! Yeah! 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 Huh? Could it be? Mist! Sweet precipitation! Le bébé n'est plus et plus. I am a giant. A giant to mice. Oh! You are a giant! You're a giant to mice! That's what I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feeling good, everyone? Feeling good, Alexa? Feeling good, Scarby? Which one of the cabin creatures hasn't interrupted me yet? Uh, Lem. Lem! I know you're out there! Hi, Lem. Susie's summoning me. You think she found out? About you know what? I don't think she knows, but I told you this was going to catch up with you. Remember? Hmm. What's this? It's an invitation to a summer camp island. For both of us? Uh, nope. Just me. <laughs> I'm sorry I snuck into summer camp. Especially because... I don't have a magical identity. Wait, what? You did what? Do you know how much trouble you're- Please don't yell at Alexa. She had nothing to do with it. I just wanted to be near her. That's why I made a forged invitation. Oh, this is a sister thing? Okay. Not having a magical identity is still an identity. Everyone has a place, Lem. 